my last week of college ever. Um, yes, that's fucking crazy to say, but I am graduating a year and a quarter early. I'm graduating total in like around two and a half years, and this week is my last week. So I thought I would vlog it for you guys because it's my last chance ever to be a hashtag relatable 20 year old, I guess. Hmm. I always feel like I forget to introduce myself because I assume that like everybody has watched my entire life history on the internet. But my name is Ashley, I go to UCLA and I'm a film student. I am a screenwriting concentration, so one of the big things I'm doing this quarter is finishing up my first ever screenplay. My other courses are History of European Cinema, which is a requirement for my major, and Symposium, which I don't have this week, but it's like this personalized capstone course to wrap up my studies at UCLA. It's with the digital media professor who is like 60 years old, but he's so nice about my YouTube channel. So Steve, if you're watching this, you're a homie. My main goals are to film and edit a YouTube video that I post on Thursday and to study for my European Cinema final, which is also Thursday morning. I also later have a finished screenplay, an adaption report on 12 Angry Men, a seven page research paper and a presentation on the social media industry do, but those are due next week, so we're just not gonna think about them right now. So hopefully I'll be able to show you guys like a little bit of time management, organization, UCLA stuff, film school stuff, and just being a YouTuber. God, that's gross. Yeah, let's get started. Hey guys, it's Sunday and this is probably going to be one of the most boring days of my entire life. I'm literally just sitting at this desk studying for my final the entire day. So if you want like exciting-ish college things, like skip to the later days in this vlog. But today is the reality of what college is. I feel like college vloggers are always going to parties and game days and fun shit like that. Like, bro, you gotta get those grades too. You know what they say, C's get degrees, but A's get to die early from stress-related complications. So today I'm studying for my History of European Cinema class. Honestly, dudes, I hate this class. It is a required course for my major though. You know when like you graduate high school and you think that you're never gonna have to take a class that you don't like again, and then you get to college and you realize that's like 90% of what college is? Yeah. So I thought I would show you guys a little bit of my study method. So we have a study guide for the class which contains about 40 terms and like 20 study questions. So I'm writing those all out on a notebook. Now I like to write things out on physical paper because for me there's something about the physical sensation of writing out the words and the extra time that it takes and like that muscle to brain connection. I don't really know. That just helps me remember stuff so much better than if I typed it out. Then with those terms in mind, I'm going through all of the course readings. I have an iPad to do all of my handwritten titles for this channel, but obviously like not everybody has that. So if you don't have this, I would actually recommend printing out your readings. As ecologically horrible as that is, there's something about physically highlighting your work that makes it so much easier to remember. As I read through, I'm looking for those key terms and answers to my study guide questions, and I'm also highlighting each article or each main concept in a different color. Since there are about 12 different academic papers for this class, it's a lot of information to keep track, so having those different colors helps me keep straight in my mind which concepts come from which author. Um, and yeah, that'll be my entire Sunday, so I'll just see you guys tomorrow. Monday is pretty much one of my lightest class days, so that makes it also my YouTube filming day. So right now it's around 8 a.m. I meant to wake up a little bit earlier, but you know, you know how it be sometimes. <laughs> is that still a meme? I don't know. So for my video, I had to go and buy a lot of cereal from the grocery store. So here's just some footage of me being a fucking awkward bean trying to avoid eye contact with grocery store employees. Hey guys, I just finished filming my video. It is just past three right now, so I'm gonna spend about half an hour editing my footage and then head off to class. For those of you who don't know, I actually moved into my lovely new apartment a little bit before I graduated college. So I've been commuting for the past like week, week and a half, but overall it's not been too long and it's been really nice to live by myself and without roommates and pay a reasonable price for rent because rent in my college town is super, super fucking expensive. All right, so I changed for class. Normally I don't dress up that much for class, but I think I'm gonna take photos after class to get that insta pic. So here is my outfit. My dress is from Motel Rocks. My blazer is from Amanda Steele's Steel Collection. And my boots are from Urban Outfitters. And then I'm also gonna bring these big chunky Unif boots because I feel like they might look a little better with the outfit, but these are much more walkable for my way to class. So I'm already really late, so I'm just gonna drive to class now. See you guys soon, bye. My life is just a giant pile of boxes. Ten minutes late, as always. I didn't 
fill my class because I would be kind of like rude and weird. But here are the notes that I took. I actually took quite thorough notes today. Normally I doze off at least a little bit in lecture, but I try to pay attention in section because it's like a really distilled version of what we learned in lecture anyway. And the final is this week, so it's like about time that I caught up on class. Andrew Norrinson's Parkinson's patients and rap number 34. Addiction persists even after its appeal wanes. So I ended up coming back to around Fairfax to take photos. I got my chunky boots on and I loaded my new flash onto my camera. My camera doesn't come in with a built-in flash, but I put this red filter attachment on it. So hopefully it's gonna give me like a really cool red glow to the photos that will match my dress. I don't know, we'll see. Right now I'm just in this like random alley. There really isn't any through traffic. So hopefully I'm not gonna blind anybody with my flash and I can shoot safely. This is the, the glamor of being an influencer, guys. <laughs> got my camera set up on a trash bin on my bendy tripod with my colorful flash. <laughs> All right, let's take some photos. The rest of the night will probably be some studying for my upcoming final, which I really, really need to grind on, and editing the video that I filmed today. Good morning. It is Tuesday and I am still living inside a pile of cereal. Have not cleaned up a thing since yesterday. Here is the outfit today. I was feeling fucking extra, as you can tell. I just like woke up feeling girly, so I rolled with it. This dress is from Urban Outfitters. I dressed it down with some Dr. Martens and then I'm wearing these hair clips that I haven't been able to stop wearing. I am all about the hair clip trend. I also want to talk about how I've been thinking about how to continue my education and like brain development after I graduate. I don't want all the time that I used to spend in class to just turn into like Netflix brain mush time. And I think I kind of have it figured out because in the past two weeks, I have started listening to a lot of audiobooks, like one to two per week, which makes me feel really good because I have not read a physical book in a very, very long time. I promise this section is not sponsored by Audible so you can unclench your butthole now. But recently I've been listening to a lot of books by college professors and by sociologists and psychologists. Two recommendations that I have are Digital Minimalism by Cal Newport and the book I'm reading right now is called Irresistible and it's about how technology is designed to be addictive. I realized this past winter break when I didn't have school for a month that I do really get sad when I'm not exposed to like new ideas and have any type of mental stimulation outside of YouTube and the internet. That's just like not a good way for me to live, especially because I work on social media. I don't want to be consumed by social media thoughts 24 seven. Um, anyways, I'm about to park now. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my TED talk. Hey guys, so we are on break from class right now. I just ran to the student store and got my last fucking blue book ever. It's literally just an empty notebook of paper, but you need it to take all of your written final and midterm exams. For my midterm for this class, I filled up this entire notebook, which I think is like 20 pages worth of paper. Hopefully my hand won't die on the final, but we'll see. Anyways, it feels good that this is the last one. I'm so over these fucking exams. Also, can we just talk about how beautiful campus is right now? Like this is, honestly the prettiest I've ever seen UCLA. College in the winter gets a little bit depressing because by the time I get out of class, it's dark. So I like never see the sunlight, but it's so gorgeous today. That was honestly one of the best movies that we've watched all quarter. I thought it was quite good. Cinematography on point, acting on point. There was like a 10 minute scene halfway through that was just anal sex, which was not what I expected from my education today exactly, but you know, I'm all for the destigmatization of gay and anal sex, so you learn something every day, kids. Anyways, on a related note, I'm going to the dentist right now to get my Invisalign checked up on, so um, see you guys in a bit. My afternoon was a bunch of miscellaneous errands. After the dentist, I went to meet with my manager about this exciting little project, which I get to be purposefully vague about like all YouTubers. And then I went grocery shopping because it's about this point in the week where I realized that I've eaten cereal for four days in a row and I should probably try something else. Except in this case, I just bought more fucking bread, which is the same food group, but oh well. Oh, nut, that looks so good. The rest of the day, I hopped on some calls, finished cleaning up my apartment, and started editing my video for the week. This is where it gets kind of boring, like I literally just sit here for hours and hours on end, so let's just skip to the next day. Oh, what's that? It's just another time lapse of me working on Wednesday too. 
Wednesday, I have like 16 to 24 hours of work, so I'm just grinding away. I'm gonna explain what I'm working on in just a second though. This is when you know the work is getting intense. It's time to clip back the bang for maximum concentration. Oh God, I look like a boiled egg. <laughs> Right now, I am working on what is due at 2 p.m. today for my screenwriting class, which is a treatment, basically a summary of my next project, which is basically like Wolf of Wall Street, but for influencers, which sounds kind of cheesy, but I wanted it to be this like extravagant, kind of ironic commentary on how there are girls who are like 14, 15 years old getting sucked into being an Instagram star, being a YouTuber, moving away from their home, and just like chasing what feels like a very empty dream. I won't have any more screenwriting class after this, but hopefully I will keep screenwriting because screenwriting takes a goddamn long time to get good at, but I wanna keep grinding away at it so eventually I have something that is worth making. Keep an eye out, I'll probably finish the screenplay in like two years and then maybe it'll be a movie one day. All right, it is 1.30 and I am about to run to class. I didn't have time to change, so here is my super underwhelming outfit today. Just a sweatshirt, leggings, and some socks and sneakers. I'm already 10 minutes late, so let's get going. See you later, see you on YouTube. Bye, bye. Whoa. Yeah. Yay. All right, a couple hours later, my forehead is out and about, which is now, you know, I've been working hard. I'm doing a couple pickups for my edit, basically just doing little title slates of each of the types of cereal. Is this the best use of my time the day before my final? Probably fucking not, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh boy, another time lapse. This is me editing for like five hours until around 11 p.m., at which point my brain was just one giant pile of editing bush. So I decided to take a break by studying. Well, I guess a break from editing, not a break from work. It's just more work. Not pictured here is a mini mental breakdown that I had, but you know, what? what's a finals week without one or two? I studied for a couple hours until 1 a.m. and then set my alarm for five hours later so that I could wake up and finish my video and cram for my final and get to my final by 9 a.m. Good morning, guys. It is still completely dark out. We are in the wee hours of the morning. Uh, but I did manage to get a spicy, like, five and a half hours of sleep last night, which is actually pretty damn good for a Thursday morning, if I may say so myself. Um, you know, I don't feel great, but I feel not disgusting, which is a new record for me. First order of the morning is finishing up my video, then while it's uploading, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck studying I can't get done. Love this. This is great. Ah. Uh... This is not even like a real outfit, but it is 8.35, I just uploaded my video and I'm already late for my final, so I'm, I'm gonna fucking go. Okay, bye! <laughs> I look so crazy right now. Oh God, let's, let's graduate college, guys. Oh my fucking God. I did it, I did the thing. I'm not gonna yell too much because I'm like still on campus right now, but holy fucking shit. My hand is about to fall off. I can't really tell whether that final was easy or if I've just become very good at bullshitting my way through written essays. Guess who's done with college forever? Me! I'm just kidding. It's more like for the next three days because I still have a seven page research paper to write and finish my entire screenplay, which are due next week. But that was my last in-person final ever. So I'm just gonna leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't believe I'm done with school. All right, see you guys next week. I